know how much longer we can stand in this country to have so many kids educated in a system that's not educated. There's always been that double life, you know, that I've always tried to live, slaying dope, drinking, and then trying to go to school and get the good grades. In Denver, we have one of the worst high school dropout rates in the country. High school became a party. It was just a crazy life. I was always looking over my shoulder. Every day at school, I was either drunk or high. I'd come to school sometimes on a hangover. I was extremely suicidal. I got caught driving a stolen car. I heard somebody yelling for a gun, so I pulled out my gun. I had started to cut myself. I loaded the gun, I cocked it back, and I was basically ready to kill somebody, you know what I'm saying, if I had to. Me and my truant officer, we go to the house. My truant officer says, how's my mom? What do you want to do with your daughter? She kind of hesitated, and she says, we could just take her. The cops picked me up over at my house. I ended up spending a month in jail. I was thinking, damn, there goes my high school diploma. There goes a lot of things. I remember, like, just sitting in there, you know, just talking to my mom. She's on the phone, just me. I think that was like the last time that I actually looked at my mom like. She was no longer my mother at that time. These kids have lost out on so much. If every child does not know that they have potential, the cost is our life. I believe if we don't grab hold of these children, we'll have a lost generation. The cost is our life. ACE was created to empower parents to choose the best schools for their children. Our mission is to assure that parents and children have the ability to figure out which place fits them best. The goal of A Scholarship is to make sure that every child receives the very best education, that they will reach their fullest potential, and that they will thrive because of the hope that lives inside of them. The system that we have squishes so many kids before they get a chance to realize how they can fly. ACE takes that and says, here's an even playing ground. Everybody can go to a private school that will focus on your child. Nearly 60% of African American students drop out. Nearly 70% of Hispanics drop out. I get mad at the existing system, which sends so many of these kids out the door as if they don't belong in a successful life doing great things. What I love about ACE is that they don't segregate to a neighborhood. They help all children. We don't support the schools, we support parents. Literally, they're saying, help, please help me. And many parents realized that they had to look for something different for their children or they're going to lose them. And a scholarship takes care of partial payment of their tuition. ACE was created to provide choices, lines for choice in education. And if you don't give them choices, you'll have a lot of lost children, period. The most devastating thing that could happen to America would be to see its children not be educated. We're going to be stuck with writing off a whole bunch of the American promise. I have had a rocky past with education and bounced from school to school to school. I was raised being told you can be anything low income can buy. All these years of being told that um, I wasn't going to make it and that you know, I was nothing but a screw up. I came to expect that of myself. I actually used to tell myself, God, I can't wait till I turn 16 because then I can drop out. I went to law academia and they accepted me. The handle that a lot of people like to put on us is an alternative school. I hate that because it says to people, lose your kids, lose your school, weird curriculum. We don't have a weird curriculum. We teach math, we teach science, we teach reading, language arts, all the regular stuff. And some of our kids made bad choices in the past. Sure they have. That doesn't mean they're a loser kid. You could see that there was tremendous hope that there were places in Denver where people were doing wonderful things with kids that weren't supposed to be having wonderful things happen to them. The first thing Todd said was, you know, he handed me a paper and said, oh, just fill this out, you know, it's an A scholarships. I didn't even have to go up and say, hey, well, you know, I'm poor and I can't pay. He just said, hey, here you go. That's not the issue. 
for the first time in my 14 years of school, someone cared. Wow, what if I make it? What if they don't kick me out? What if I get my diploma? This really does feel like a second home. And for many kids, this is their most comfortable home. When I walked in that blue door, that was the only time that I felt safe. Like, this is my home. The teachers were just teachers. They were real good friends. I met a spoken word poet, and she was the first person who I ever let read anything I wrote. And she read it, and she was like, this is a poetry. And I started really getting into writing and it became a savior to me. Every time I had a hard day, I would write. And before then, every time I had a hard day, I'd go pick up an X-Acto knife and slice up my arms. So my pen became my knife. And instead of bleeding to make myself feel better, the pen bled and it worked just the same. No one in this building that works here sees it as a job. This is a way to touch the lives of children. This is my life's work. This is what I need to do. This is the place I need to be. When people sport ace, they're saying that they're not ready to give up on a whole bunch of kids. We need partners who will come alongside of us and say, yes, I want to give hope to one child. When people come by and sort of check us out, I think they go, man, I, I know where my dollar's going. It's going to that kid learning calculus, and so that kid can be prepared to go to college. We literally, at A Scholarships, have thousands of children on a waiting list. We can't help them because our funding is limited. We have families who are making less than $20,000 a year. They're figuring out some way of contributing half the cost of private school tuition. So if they're coming to the table with their children, with their hopes, and with their money, I don't see how we can fail them by not at least coming to the table with some funds. Ace is critical to us. I mean, without them, we'd figure out something. I don't know what it'd be, but I'd figure out something. But I hope that's a problem I don't have to face. Possible to imagine a bigger bang for the buck. It's an investment for a lifetime. There are folks out there that believe that poverty is destiny. But at Ace, we are doing is putting a stake in the ground and saying that's not good. Enough. Ace was a lifeline. Ace literally saves lives. With Ace, we get that second chance. I don't know what would happen for a lot of these children if we didn't have Ace Foundation helping. For every child that has cried in my office because they didn't think that they ever learned to read, Ace is hope. The potential of each individual child is the potential to be a Nobel Prize winning scientist, be a president. Most importantly, the potential inspire other children. If a child has hope, there is no limit to what they can do. Inspiration, that's the heart of what so many of these schools uh, stand for. A year ago, we left at college. Now it's like college. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to college, baby. We really are making a difference. Um, and I get a witness, I get to ride along. I get to watch kids go from making bad decisions to making good ones. That's pretty good pain. A stands in challenge to the whole system, saying, look what's possible. It's really happening. I'm really going to get my diploma. I don't think I've ever been so happy in my life. <laughs>